All right, we're about to dive into an intriguing topic here. Google's latest AI project, Gemini. This one's said to eclipse ChatGPT in performance, which, let's be honest, is quite the statement given the prowess of ChatGPT. Now, you might be asking, how could Google even make such a bold claim? In this video, we'll demystify everything about Gemini, highlight its groundbreaking nature, and compare it with ChatGPT. All right, let's get started. Announced recently at the Google I.O. conference, this new project from Google is nothing less than a leap forward in the AI realm. Standing for Generative Enhanced Multimodal Intelligent Network Interface, Gemini, in essence, is an AI system capable of generating and interpreting various data types, be it text, images, audio, video, and cleverly interact with humans and other systems. You might ask, don't we already have something like ChatGPT4? Well, yes we do. ChatGPT4, a versatile AI system, can produce multimodal content depending on the input or prompt. If you ask it to write a love poem, sketch a cat donning sunglasses, or even compose a pizza song, it will deliver, although maybe skip listening to the song. However, its versatility is also its Achilles heel. It's a jack of all trades, but a master of none. That's where Gemini changes the game. It's a specialized tool with an intense focus on text processing. Here's why. Google thinks text is the AI's holy grail because it's rich with information and knowledge. Think about it. Almost everything we do online involves text. Searching, reading, communicating, and providing feedback, making it vital for understanding our world. That's why Google aspires to create Gemini, an AI that's unparalleled in text processing. It is designed to generate top-quality text for any purpose or domain. Need a blog post headline that pops, a persuasive speech, a humorous social media post, or a gripping novel storyline? Gemini's got it all. It goes beyond generating text content and can understand and interpret text from others. However, it doesn't stop at being a generator or consumer of text content. It is also an active collaborator and communicator. It can interact with you or other systems as if it were human, offering assistance, whether you want to chat, seek advice, or learn something new. Gemini is not merely another language model. It's a revolution in AI text interaction. The cherry on top? It's still being honed by Google DeepMind, the masterminds behind many pioneering AI projects. Now, how Google DeepMind engineered Gemini and what sets it apart? So, Google DeepMind, a branch of Google focusing on AI research, was founded in 2010 by ex-chess prodigy, neuroscientist, and game designer Demis Hassabis. Hassabis, the CEO, envisions an AI that can learn and reach, if not exceed, human-level intelligence. DeepMind is renowned for creating AlphaGo, an AI that defeated a Go world champion in 2016, a feat thought impossible due to the game's complexity and demand for intuition and strategy. AlphaGo used a method called reinforcement learning to adjust its strategy based on feedback from millions of games it played. Despite AlphaGo's success, Hasabis wanted more. He aimed to develop an AI system that could not only play games, but also comprehend and generate natural language. This led to the creation of Gemini, an AI model that applies AlphaGo's problem-solving techniques to language processing. In a Wired interview, Hasabi stated that Gemini would incorporate exciting new innovations but didn't disclose specifics. So what exactly is Gemini's unique approach to AI and how does it work? Gemini is a versatile AI model, mostly focusing on text processing, but can also handle data types like images, audio, and video. It learns from its experiences and web data, using information from different sources to enhance its capabilities. For instance, it can create image captions by using visual details from the picture and textual data from the web. It can answer questions using web text and audio from podcasts or videos. If writing a poem, Gemini uses text from the web and emotional cues from music or art, and it uses feedback to improve. If it makes a mistake, it learns not to repeat it, but if it does well, it reinforces that behavior. This model can also set its own goals based on its curiosity, creating its own questions or challenges to learn more and expand its skills. With reinforcement learning, Gemini becomes more independent and adaptable in text processing. It also gets more creative and communicative in generating and understanding text. So what does all this mean for us? Well, it could revolutionize AI, especially generative AI, set to be worth over $80 billion by 2030. Generative AI makes new stuff, text, pictures, sounds, videos, and more. What can it do? Lots. It can make fake data for AI training, improve existing data, 
create new content like music or stories, design products or services, even simulate complex situations like weather or economics. Gemini could be one of the most powerful generative AI tools yet. Imagine creating top-notch text, understanding any content, chatting with Gemini like it's a person, making new things together, or just having fun and discovering new possibilities. I believe Gemini could transform AI and our world. It brings new opportunities and challenges. But is it better than ChatGPT, the current AI leader? Let's find out. ChatGPT, made by OpenAI, is an advanced AI language model. Updated many times since its 2022 launch, the latest version, ChatGPT4, can create varied content from prompts using data from the internet. ChatGPT4 can do many things like answer questions, write essays, and compose songs, making it sound like a real person talking. Yet it has some flaws. It's not always accurate or clear about how it makes decisions. It doesn't always create new content. And it can't have in-depth conversations or learn from past experiences. Now Gemini wants to do better. It's built to be more reliable, clear, original, and engaging. Gemini uses past experiences to improve itself, gives clear reasons for its decisions, creates more diverse content, and can have deeper interactions. But ChatGPT still has advantages. It can create varied content and perform many tasks, is free for anyone to use, and has been tested more widely. Gemini isn't meant to replace ChatGPT, but to offer a different choice. So Gemini and ChatGPT are both amazing AI systems with their own strengths and weaknesses. They are changing the AI landscape and the world. Google has been a key player in the AI industry, heavily investing in AI research and development and launching products like Google Assistant and Google Translate. However, it has faced challenges, including the controversial launch of Bard, an AI chatbot, in 2022. Bard produced inappropriate responses, and had to be shut down soon after its introduction. Google has also grappled with ethical issues including privacy breaches and employee conflicts. Despite these setbacks, it has learned from its mistakes and improved its AI practices by introducing new principles for responsible AI development. Google is now preparing for the next stage in its AI journey with Gemini, its future AI model. Gemini, still being developed at Google DeepMind, promises to advance the AI industry even further. Though its specific future impacts are uncertain, it's anticipated that Gemini will surpass ChatGPT in text processing and content generation capabilities. That wraps up our video. We're just as excited as you are to see how this revolutionary AI model evolves and how it'll shape the future of AI, text processing, and so much more. We're certain that the AI landscape is in for some fascinating transformations. Don't forget, if you found this information valuable, Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all things AI. We've got a lot more exciting content coming your way. And of course, we'd love to hear your thoughts on Gemini. How do you think it'll stack up against ChatGPT? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for joining us today and see you in the next one.